midterm moving average a huge uh, threat to the buyers. But then it because again, last time when the midterm moving average was coming down and the down gap wasn't fully failed, that was the recipe for a disaster for at least about a week or so. Ladies and gentlemen, Kiki Mir, welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is up about 2%. There on the SP Nasdaq, did the same semiconductor 1.3. That 1.9 is trends. I mean, the Russell 2000 made a move 3% along the trends for banks, energy, biotech, healthcare, home builders, utility, retail, emerging market. Every single sector is a green today. Looks like, though, notably, uh, home builders close to 5% today. Bitcoin up, gold, silver miners are up quite a bit. Dollar down, oil love, treasure bond up. Big stun about 7%. There, let's stay with SP 500 ETF. Spider 65 minutes are here. Here, so this is where we close yesterday. Looks like we actually saw. Slight gap up there, right? This is where we close. We gapped up a little bit. It looks like on that uh, right at open uh, on that first hour, a little bit of fluctuation. Feel that up gap from this early morning. However, the buyers were able to push through the uh, micro term moving average. However, in the second hour, buyers went for it. They made a run for that move on that second hour however the short-term moving average that did act as a resistance yesterday also did act as resistance on second hour however looks like uh that micro term moving average potentially be supporting the buyers at least for the day because on that third hour uh, looks like we actually did see that thrust above my short term and with that buyers put up a little bit of courage there so you can see fourth hour fifth hour sixth hour got up made a move here and tagged that my midterm moving average in that process filled about 50 percent of the down gap that was opened uh 23rd last week here so you can see uh that down gap half of it is filled not fully filled though and that's not always a good sign when 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 the buyers are attempting to fill these down gaps, every time when they fail to fill the entirety of the down gap, disaster followed. Uh, good example of that is was right here. You can see uh, back in you know sixteenth of September, uh, as you can see here, there's that gap that was opened down. You can see how the buyers left that gap not able to fully fill that down gap, down gap and uh inevitably huge downturn did come about so you can see we're pretty much in a very very similar storyline here not only that we got that midterm moving average that midterm moving average is a huge uh, threat to the buyers but then it because again last time when the midterm moving average was coming down and the down gap wasn't fully Failed. That was the recipe for a disaster for at least about a week or so. We got exactly the same recipe here, right? So if there's going to be any kind of decline going into tomorrow, 368 is going to be that micro term support. And you can see my short term and micro term moving averages are residing in that vicinity as of today. If both cannot support or hold that 368, 367 level, expect violence. From the boss bear so i got that oscillator uh, so that bullish divergence we talked about uh on the last night's update here we both did make some move here right today and uh substantiating that bullish divergence uh, however we still got a lot of room here bulls really they, they're desperately seeking to put that oscillator all the way to the top of his band bulls are not higher remember they're dealing with that mid -term and the gap area so bulls really need to fill that down gap that wasn't fully filled today or gap it over if not expect the boss buyers coming down and coming down hard i'm gonna come back for you we'll reassess the situation enjoy your evening and go train tomorrow
not even close. In fact, you are pegged. More pegged if you don't do what I want. And what I want is half your shit. And if that's too much, you can make, find, or steal more, and it'll even out sooner or later.